Okay, hi guys, and welcome to another Minecraft video. Here I've got episode 2 of the starter tutorial. Now what I'm hoping to do today is obviously make a bed, so we're going to find some sheep, and then I'm going to hopefully show you all how to make, make like the most, what I think is the best farm, farming technique. The best, the most uh, fruit field. Like, you get the most for basically your resources. So... Yeah, alright, so we're going to find some sheep first, hopefully. Kill them. And then make some bed. Well, we just need one bed, actually. I can tell this is going to be a world with no sheep. So I may have to hold off on making a bed. If I don't find any quite quickly, we won't be able to make a bed this... It's not good, because you need a bed. Bed's one of the biggest things in a... Minecraft in the Minecraft start a bit. Okay, so we'll have a quick another quick scout around. I don't want to get lost. So So quick look. It's got to be some sheep. There's always tons of sheep. It's like when you want sheep, there's none there. But every time you want pigs or cows or chickens, all you find is sheep. This is you you will find that out if you're just starting out. Just start in Minecraft. Start to play that. As soon as you start a new world, you'll want food. And all you'll be able to find is sheep. You'll be fine making a bed, but you can't make anything else. Okay, there's got to be some sheep somewhere. Lots of mushrooms, so as soon as I teach you how to make mushrooms, that will be good. Make a mushroom farm. There's always good mushrooms in swamps, so that's perfect. How can there be no sheep? I don't get it. I always find sheep to be the most common animal out of them all. Come on, there's got to be some sheep somewhere. We will check this out in a later episode. I promise. I want to get all the basics done first, then I will show you the new add-ons to Minecraft. But I'm not going to be able to. We're, gonna, we're just going to have to kill lots and lots of spiders. Because you need three pieces of wool, and you need... Yeah, we're gonna need 12 pieces of string. Oh, don't fall down there. How many times am I gonna nearly fall down there? A lot, if I had to guess. Alright, well, guys, I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip to when I find some sheep, okay? So I will cut the video here and restart it when I found some sheep. Alright, guys, I'm back. I have finally found some sheep. Took me a while. And, oh, that cow was glitching a bit. We've got a, a grey, dark grey sheep, a, gray, a light grey sheep, a white sheep, and another white sheep, so. Kill them, pick up the wool. We only need three. How did that one survive a collateral when the rest didn't? Oh, yeah, if you jump and hit them, it should kill them in one. Not always, though. Alright, we've got all the sheep. Uh, now we're gonna go back. To, we're gonna go back home, I suppose. If I can find the way, I have marked recording. That's just in case. Oh damn it! Mr. Jump. That was totally my fail. No one else's. Oh, what's up here? Oh look, another sheep. So I, I must have walked right past these sheep. You know what, just because I did. Oh, what's this? Leave a torch there to make sure I go down there. Because if I remember correctly, the house should be just over here. Should be. Oh, these ra why are there so many random holes? It's weird. Okay, uh, it's got to be around here somewhere, the house. How long is this video running? How does it? Okay, so... These zombies have spawned in daylight. Cool. Yeah, guys, I'm just going to cut it from here till we get back home. Alright, see ya. Alright, guys, I finally found way home. I'd gone in a totally wrong direction, apparently. This is the genius bit of having the coordinates as you can see up here if you press F3 
I, I probably mentioned this in the first one, it does give you your coordinates, X and Z, and Y is your height, I think, yeah, and y then it's your X and Z axis, so, yeah, there you go. Easy way to find your way home if you mark the coordinates. Uh, and it's not really cheating because they did add it in the game. Along the way, I did pick up some apples. Uh, I even killed a zombie, which was quite weird. I think I might have had that on video actually, so I may have to edit that in. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Make a bed. Okay, so this is how you make a bed. You need some planks. You take three wooden planks, put them down the bottom. Take three pieces of wool. Doesn't matter what colour, they can be random colours, can all be the same colour. It honestly does not matter, it's always the same red bed. Like we use no red wool then, but we get a red bed. Plonk! And then when it becomes night time, I will show you how to use that. As until it is night time, we cannot. Let's put sugar canes, saplings, we'll keep the bones, because I'm now going to show you how to make, we have no seeds, how to make. Hopefully, all those apples I picked up along the way as well should be very useful in a later date to make golden apples. Yep, how to make a farm. Okay, so where, where should we make the farm? I think we're going to make the farm about there. So what we want to do is chop down all these trees. Lots of wood. It's always good. It's always good to have lots of wood. Here we go. Chopping and chopping and chopping trees. Sorry for my singing, I know I can't sing, but I tend to start when I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> okay. Let's do this, 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 this. Let's rid of all these trees, come on. This is probably going to be a long episode this time, just because. We're gonna have a lot. We've done quite a bit. We'll leave that tree because that's just too big to get rid of. Uh, okay, now why not? There's so many big trees in this bit. I know. As it's night time, while we wait for the trees to decay, the leaves, we shall. We might as well sleep. And what you do is, because it's night time, you go up to the bed, right-click on it, and it will do this. And you just wait. You can leave the bed while you're asleep. And when you when it's done. Da da! Night time! There will still be mobs out, if any spawned, because we did it quite quickly. There might not be any spawned. Oh, we're going to get lots of saplings now. But there probably will be mobs spawned, so be careful, because creepers don't despawn, and creepers don't die to sunlight. Neither do spiders, but spiders won't attack you during the day, unless you attack them. And look, that skeleton has golden armour. Skeleton has gone on. Why is it not burnt? I know it's under a tree, but it should be burning. Is it because it's got a helmet on? So if skeletons have a helmet on, they don't burn. Did not know that. I wonder if it'll give me some golden armor. <gasps> it did. It gave me some golden leggings. Put them on. They're useless. Gold is rubbish for armor. It's. I don't even think it's better than leather, to be honest. And it's a lot more resource hungry. And it'll go. That will be gone. After like three, four hits. So, not the best thing to use. But yes, now now while we're waiting for this to clear, just do this. This is to get seeds. You get seeds from these. You just break grass. You get seeds. There you go, see? Dropped a seed. But what I'm going to do is up here. Plonk that down. Put that water on top, and the water's just going to flow weird. Great. It's not how water's meant to flow. There we go, that's better. And look, if you watch, the water just gets rid of the leaves, the grass, if it would flow in the right direction at all. And sometimes it will drop the seeds. Not always, though. And it doesn't like me, so it's probably not going to drop any. Right, there's lots here, so... Okay, so I'm going to cut this bit out. A lot of cutting this episode because we're searching for a lot of things to make this. So I'm going to cut it and go and collect loads of seeds. Alright, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, and I'm back. And I have, after a very long time, 
I might add, have got 41 seeds. That, that will definitely be enough to make a, a starter farm. So what we're going to do is we are going to, this is perfect right here, make an infinite water supply. Like so, you put one block, you make a four block, oh, actually I'll explain it when I get back there. As you can see it's a four, squ it's a square, four blocks, two by two. You put one bucket of water in one corner and in the opposite corner put another bucket and it becomes an infinite water supply. And you can just keep taking and keep taking and keep taking. And as you can see it will always be smooth. Okay, now what we want to do is clear this out. So we want 9 by 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, perfect. Okay, now what we're going to do is count in the middle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then look, if you, if you watch, it's so where we're going to place the water. We're going to get some more water, and then all of this area should, I say should, be available to use water with, uh, to farm with. Alright, so I don't want to go in there. We're going to make, we're only going to make a wooden hoe, because we're not going to need it that, long, that much. And yeah, what we're gonna what we're gonna do is this. All around it. As you can see it will go dark when the water saturates it. Water can only saturate four blocks away. And it always needs water within that amount of blocks to Grow. Really? I don't know why I did that one. Although we will need to go to that one in a second. Do not like square. And as you can see, they will just continue to saturate. Like so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that like that, as that is a full plot. We could probably go one more, but we're not gonna as uh, actually wait, one, two, three. Yes, we can go one more. And there goes my hoe. Let's just grab. You know what? Let's just make. Let's just make an iron one. I know it's a waste of resources, and I would never do this. But as we will probably be doing quite a bit of farming in this tutorial series, as we need food for quite a bit, I don't normally use it myself because I don't. I don't breed animals really. As soon as I find melons, I just use them. And this line. Let's clear this out quickly. Just so we have like a way to get round a pathway and later on. Actually I think we may make a fence around this. Just so no animals can get in. And uh when I said melons earlier, you may be wondering what melons are in the game. Oh a bit of a lag spike then. Melons are only found in dungeons. They are a seed. And they are growable. And they basically grow a melon. And yes, once we find some melon seeds, I will do a tutorial on that. But, okay, that's all the seeds we got. But, as I have mo bone meal. Unfortunately, this is... I have not got the new snapshot installed. So it's not a tutorial for the new snapshot. But bone meal works like this. You just, boom. And it auto grows it. But unfortunately, in the new snapshots of a new update, they've nerfed bone meal a bit. So it takes... It, it used to be seven bone meal to grow one piece of wheat, which is basically way underpowered. It's just not going to be possible to use it anymore. But I think I think they might have brought it down to like two or three bits of bone meal per piece of wheat, which is a lot better, in my opinion. That will be a lot, a lot easier. 
what we're going to do is this. Break it. Break all of the wheat. And as you can see, wheat drops. It will drop wheat and some seeds. So that's always nice. So it, it is a renewable source. It does not always drop seeds. It will always drop a piece of wheat. One piece of wheat per wheat. Per, like, wheat growable. But it will not. And you can walk on this. You can walk on wheat now. You cannot jump. If you jump on it, it will break. And we will just replant this. It's a bit tedious, this. But you do need wheat. Actually, no. You don't even need wheat. You need wheat for cows to breed cows. Which I will show you later on. And you need wheat to breed sheep. Sheep, I think. As pigs take... Pigs do not have uh, use wheat anymore. They use carrots, which zombies drop now. Uh, a rare drop, and you can grow carrots. Or you can find them in, at villages. Which we have yet to find yet, so we will have to wait for that. Just do this again. Hopefully we'll get enough seeds to fill up the whole thing this time. I don't think we have, though. No, we have not. But nearly... Yes, that is that. There you go. A very good wheat farm with one piece of water. And we can just wait for that to grow, basically. And do I have... I do not have any pumpkins yet, but we do have sugar cane. And I, I will show you how to make a sugar cane farm. Sugar cane is a lot easier. As all you have to do... Is this. Get over here. Don't even need the hoe for this. All you do is that, 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 that. That, and plonk the sugar cane down, because it has to be next to water, on either grass or sand, I think. And it must always be placed near water. See, if I tried to place it over here, it just wouldn't work, because it has to be next to the water. It can be running water, it can be not running water. Honestly, it makes no difference. That's the good thing about having this water supply here. We can just keep going back and grabbing it. Like that. To make another infinite water supply. You can make an infinite water supply like this. In a line. But it takes a lot more water. It's easier just to make a square. Because it only takes two. And if you're going cave diving or something. Well, not in real life obviously. In the game. Okay, not there. There. There we go. See an infinite water supply. If you're going to go uh, cave splunking. Then you could just take two buckets of water, make an infinite water supply anywhere. Okay, that's it for this episode, I think. Uh, we've done quite a bit. We have made a bed. Finish off by sleeping in a bed. Okay. Yep, that's it. And next time, I think we may either use this wheat to find to get some cows and get a cow farm. Or we may even check out the desert temple. I'm not too sure yet. Okay, thanks. And that, that's covering up my speedo. No! Eh, it doesn't matter. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you need any help, or you want me to do a specific tutorial, let me know in the comments. Okay, see you.